Hi guys, welcome back to another episode of Fashion Trick, a little series where I like to help you guys out with your fashion dilemmas and give you some inspiration of how to alter those thrifted finds. Well hello guys, welcome back to another episode of Fashion Fix. So in today's episode I'll be showing you guys how to make this really cute frilly lettuce hem bandeau crop top that I've been seeing everywhere lately. I think I first saw this on Kendall Jenner and soon after it was all over Depop and various other retail stores so I thought I'd show you guys how I made my own from this top that I thrifted a while back that I don't really get to wear anymore. So without further ado, let's get into the video and I hope you guys enjoy. So the first thing I did was laid my top down flat on the ground and I'm just cutting along the bottom half of the top. I do apologize that you cannot see that guys. I should have put it more up into frame but um, I just did it at the bottom and I'm repeating the same thing at the top as well. Then once I was done with that I just went ahead and cut off both sides of the sleeves. So once I was done with that, this is the basic pieces for our top. So now I'm just going to go off to my sewing machine and use a zigzag stitch to practice the letters coming. So before I even start on my top, I'm just taking the excess piece of fabric that um, I cut away from the top and I'm just using that to practice my lettuce hemming so all I'm doing is pulling the fabric gently through the machine as the zigzags go across the outer hem of the top and then I'm just doing that all the way down just to see how it's coming out it's best to pull on the direction of the stretch so whichever direction your stretch is going in, whether it's horizontally or vertically, it's best to do it that way rather than against the stretch because you're not really going to get the desired effect. So this is really trial and error guys, just keep practicing until you get the hang of it. So just do it on an excess piece of fabric that you know you're not going to use. So once um, I figured out how I liked it and this is how it came out, um, I decided to do it on the top. So now I've just taken the centre half of my top and I'm going to lettuce hem the top and the bottom of it. But before I do that, I'm just going to gently pull the um, seams apart like so. And this just loosens the um, weave of the ribbing just to allow the hem to curl better and to give a better effect of a frill. So I don't know if you guys can see here, but the hem has slightly curled more by itself, like so, than it has at the bottom, so that's why I decided to do that. So once I was done, let us hem in all the pieces of my top, which is the middle part and the top of the sleeves, it is now time to measure the top half with elastic so that's just what I'm doing right here in order for my top to stay up because it is a little loose so in order for it just to sit more comfortably I decided to add a bit of elastic so I'm just measuring it around my top half of my chest just to see how it fits and once I was happy with that I just gave it a quick cut and that was it. So once I had my elastic, I decided to close it off quickly with a simple zigzag stitch to make a full circle. Then I took my pins and evenly divided it into quarters. And this is so I evenly insert my elastic into the top half of my top equally all the way around. So I just inserted my elastic with a simple straight stitch. So once that was securely in there, as you guys can see, um, we are going to attach our sleeves. So before I attach my sleeves, I decided to taper the sleeve a little bit because it was a little too big and I wanted to sit more snug onto my arm. So that's just what I did really quickly. And then once I cut away the excess fabric, I decided to sandwich the sleeve and the middle part of the top together 
with pins and that is just what I've done here. So instead of pinning my sleeve straight across, I decided to pin in a half semicircle. So this way it's easier for your arm to sit inside the sleeve and it's less hassle when you're moving your arms around. So I decided to do that rather than stitching straight across. So once I was done with the sleeves, this was basically the finished look. But as you guys can see, the sleeves are a little too short for my liking. So in order to make them longer, I'm actually using the excess piece of fabric that I cut away earlier, that I practiced on. And this was perfect since I had already let his hem the bottom of that top. So I'm just using that to make the sleeves longer. So I just cut that fabric into two halves, making two little rectangles. And I just sewed down the side of those and now I'm just attaching it to the bottom half of my sleeve like so so I initially started to do it like this but it was a bit too snug and tight since my wrists are quite small and the rectangles were really really tiny so in the end I decided to sew it this way so I'm just going all the way around the circle making sure not to catch any of the fabric underneath So once I finished doing that, I was done with my top. So this is the finished look guys, I really had fun making this and it's a really cool twist on a usual just like rando crop top because all the ones that I see had basically been black or white and I really like this pop of colour so you guys can have a go at making this as well so any sort of ribbed top that you guys find while thrifting is perfect. So I really hope you guys enjoyed that video, if you did please do give it a thumbs up, don't forget to hit that subscribe button down below if you haven't already to see more videos from me and I'll see you guys in my next one, peace.